Oh yeah. Hiya. Oh, is it asleep? I hope so, because he didn't do much sleeping last <laughs> night. Have you got a name for him yet? Yeah, but uh, there's someone we've got to tell first before we tell anybody else. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, hey, Ken. Hi, hi. So, this is the little guy they're all talking about. Ah, what are you calling him? Ah, well, uh, do you want to go and have a look? No, they're not safe, uh, aren't they? Bye, Mark. OK, yeah. bye. Yeah. No, bars won't be. Tell you what, if I'm going to be pushing a pram, we'll get a better one than that. High tech. No, designing. Having a lot of nightmares, and I'm, I don't know, he just doesn't seem himself. Well, why don't you bring him round to us after school? See if there's something he might tell his granddad, he won't tell you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, you're coming round to us after school for your tea, Simon, all right? That's if we ever get to school. <sighs> just been watching out of that bedroom window. There's Tyrone, proud as punch, taking his baby for a walk. I wonder if people tell him he looks like him, because I don't think he does. And anybody if you look like Tyrone, would you want it to? <sighs> That's our lovely daughter. Yeah, I know. Where are you, Sophie? I'm gonna get a hundred of these run off, go down bus stations and places, stick them up. And if there is that God she believes in, I hope he's looking after her. Well, if he is, I believe in him myself. Right, better get going. I'll see you later. Mm -mm. Bye. Hey, are you going to pop in and see the baby? Uh, if I've got time. I've got a list to do, Anna. OK, right. We need to get you a job. Not as easy as you think. I don't think it's easy. But at least you want to be able to tell the court that you tried. I could always tell them that. It doesn't have to be true. Doesn't matter whether it's true or not, they never believe you. I'd ask Liz to take you on here, but... <laughs> she wouldn't even want me stopping. She's never in a million years going to want me working. I know, which is why I'm trying to think of who else might want... Well, not want you, no-one's going to do that, but... Who else might pour up with you? You see, I didn't know the full story until you were both on the way out and then it was too late. Well, now you know. Which is why I was thinking maybe it would help if the three of us got together again. Look, Ken, I, I do have a life to lead. Well, OK, so why don't I come over to you this time? Take this lunchtime? And maybe we could persuade James to join us. Thank you. Hmm? Uh, have a nice day. I'm sorry, you wanted me? Well, assuming you want to know what Mr Jordan said about our son. Well, of course I do. What? I've just been on the phone to him. Yeah. He said that Addy has had a good night and he's very happy with his progress. <sighs> good. So when can we collect him? I said we'd be in later this morning. <laughs> or I can go and you can stay here. No, come on, I'm coming with you. Who's going to run this place? Well, who cares? You know, we'll close it. Or better still, we'll just leave it open. People come in and just help themselves. Close it. Close it. <sighs> right, I'm off to Leeds. Whether Leeds wants you or not. Beg your pardon? Lawrence is how old now? 49. Right, so he's been through the last uh, 49 years without your advice and his son, however long he's had. But now, all of a sudden, you seem to think they need you to solve their problems for them. No. You can't solve your own problems, but you seem to think you can solve theirs. Well, at least it'll be nice to see Lawrence's home. Oh, I'm sure. Anyway, I won't be around for lunch. Have a nice trip. Even if it's only for a few days, it just means that when she goes to court, she can say she's got a job. Or have you already got all the stuff you need? Well, it... Do you know what? I shouldn't even be asking you. It's not fair. No, I'm sorry, Roger. Just forget that I said, oh. I was going to say that you, you've chosen a good time because I was thinking we could do with an extra pair of hands. I don't believe you. Well, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I had hoped I was generally regarded as an honest man. Generally, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then thank you, boy. Hey, listen. You do know that you are like the bestest man ever, right? I, I, I wouldn't go that far. Hey, 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 hey. And how was your honeymoon? Oh, oh very nice. I, I don't think Northumberland. Okay. Roy says, yeah, he might be able to take you on. Do you have any experience in the catering industry? Done a lot of eating. Well, there, there are two things here that are all important. Uh, one is hygiene, two is politeness. And three, how much does it pay? 6.50 an hour. Oh, that's pathetic. I'm not doing it for that. 
No, but you hear it for Max and you'll think about him. It is the going rate. Now, now, do you want the job or not? Yes, she does. I have much choice, but it's out of it. Uh, when might you be able to start? Now. So poor Kevin must have been scared to death thinking he was going to have to do the delivery himself. Well, what was he doing here anyway? It's complicated. It doesn't matter now. Well, I was out on a job and I couldn't get back. Well, why won't Kevin the one out on the job? Auntie Pam, I've said it doesn't matter. Anybody home? Yeah, of course we are. Come in. It's not something me or Kevin wanted to just leave it, OK? Hey, right, where is it? Where is it? Oh. Oh, oh, can't go. Little love. Oh. Ah, sight for sore eyes. Oh, congratulations, oh. lovey. Thanks. Hey, do you want to have an old? Yeah, no, no, I better sit down. I don't want to drop in. Do you? <laughs> so how is his mummy doing? Yeah, really well, except my husband keeps going on <clears throat> about the birth. Which makes me feel like I keep going through it again and again. Oh, well, then tell him to stop. Yeah, I have. Right, are you ready for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you oh. go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, and uh, with something we want to tell you, if you want to do it. No, go on, you're dying to. We're going to call him Jack. <laughs> you know, are you? Of course we are, after you. He'll end up with a load of bad habits, you know, don't he? <laughs> like supping and backing horses and, and, and everything, you know. But he'll have a good heart. <laughs> something we both want. Mm. Little Jack Dobbs. <sighs> Wonderful, that Thank you very much. Thank you. How's Abby? Abby is good. Oh, great. In fact, uh, I'm just about to close this place because me and his mum, we're just about to go to the hospital and we're going to pick him up and we are going to bring him home. That's the 325, please. Oh, well, that'll be the nightmare over for you, yeah, No, it will. And uh, here she is. Yeah. Hey, Dad was just telling me Abby's coming out. He is, yeah. 175. Thanks. Thanks. I'm really chuffed for you. Give him a big kiss from me, won't you? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Thank you, Leanne. Um, right, come on, we off? No. No? Phone call from the hospital. We can't pick him up till later this afternoon. Why not? Hospital procedure. <laughs> Annie, what does that mean? No idea. <sighs> but, I mean, they're sure. I mean, there's, 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 there's nothing wrong with him. They said no. We mustn't think that. Yeah. Just that we can't collect him till half four this afternoon. Me? And uh, what did you say? The only thing I could, which was okay, yeah. yeah. But it does mean we can pick up Asha from school and take her with us. In fact, they asked me whether she'd be with us, and I said, yeah. yeah. But I mean, they're, they're, they're sure. I mean, they're definite that there's nothing wrong with him. I asked them twice. Yeah. They said, no, nothing. Okay. Uh, four of your biggest rules. Oh, you're not uh, using these to repair cars now, are you? No. <laughs> it was meant as a joke. You can see it's not appreciated. That's just eight pounds, please. Just heard about you. Hero of the hour, by all accounts. Yeah. Mm. How you happen to be on the spot while Tyrone's miles away, just as our Molly's giving birth? I didn't plan that. That's the last thing I wanted. I don't want anything to do with her or the baby, OK? If you say so. I do, only it's not that simple. With everyone going on about, oh, have you seen the baby? Why don't you go across? I'm staying as far away as I can. <laughs> Two pounds change. <laughs> well, somebody's in a mood today, aren't they? <laughs> what, what, uh, what was he saying to you? Oh, do you know I can't quite remember now. <laughs> um, oh, I'll have a quarter of them mint imperials. Well, it's not a lot, but it's enough for me. You know, I've never had a garden in my entire life. Not so much as a window box. Oh, here he is. Hi. Hello. OK, let's have a chat. But if it's just going to be why can't I be like a proper man and bring home a nice girl, then I shall just be straight out of that door. Because, I mean, what's the point? You see, this is what it's like. Oh, I certainly haven't come to say anything like that. But then be careful or you'll be out as well. Well, what can I get you, Ken? Tea, coffee or uh, something stronger? Uh, coffee would be nice, thank you. Well, you can use my cup if you like. Uh, it's bright pink. Dad bought it for me after I told him I was gay. I don't know who was more scared, me or you. Oh, me, I think. Um, and if I didn't say it before, thanks. Well, it makes me feel like I've got a very special relationship with you. And you have. Which is why we want you and Kevin to be godparents, don't we? Well, did you hear that? Kevin and Sally are going to be little Jake's godparents. Well, he couldn't have better. Um. Sally hasn't said yes yet, and 
Do you might want to check with Kevin? Well, I'll ask him, but he'll be the same as me. We'd both be delighted. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Any pickles? <laughs> Oh, where are you living now? Uh, we have this flat. And he says we, it means... Me and Ian. And it's not much of a flat either, it's more of a dump. Yeah, what Dad doesn't get is I didn't plan on being gay. I didn't choose it. No? It's just the way I am. Like it's the way you're not. Yeah, but I'm sure your dad can see that. Oh, he can. Look, all I'd say is, I mean... I'm allowed to state my point of view on this, am I? Of course. Yeah, and you would rather not hear it. Well, I would, actually. Yeah, might change your mind when you do. Well, all I'd say is, is that we all of us have feelings and inclinations. I mean, I might have a feeling that I want to rob a bank. Well, so do it. Well, no. Because there are some feelings that you have to suppress. You can't just go through life doing what you want regardless. That's true. So, you suppress your urge to rob this bank? But what about your homophobia? You're going to suppress that as well? And anyway, why should I suppress my feelings when there's nothing wrong with them? Well, not everybody agrees with that. Oh, here we go. There are some people who think there is a lot wrong with men who have certain kinds of relationships with other men. He's got there. He always does. Yes, and as I always will. I'm not going to change on that. Yeah, well, and I'm not either. But you expect me to. Not anymore, I don't. You think what you like. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, that is obvious. So, Ken, over to you. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, I was thinking, seeing all the fuss over Tyrone's baby, imagine what it's going to be like for us. I mean, it's my family, your family, salon customers, mob from Underworld. We're going to be overwhelmed. And what, you mean you don't want that? No, I think I do. I think I'm going to love every minute. Two salads. Have you got any mayonnaise? Salad, cream. Am I making sense to you? More than usual. Have we got any mayonnaise? Yes, sir. Uh, when you give it to them, perhaps if you could manage a smile. Ask them uh, if everything's all right, whether they're like anything else possibly. Going to want anything else? Uh, no, don't think we do. Not me. <laughs> oh, is Ken not here? No, he's in Leeds. Oh no, what's he doing in Leeds? Sorting out his other family. Why? What's the matter with him? Well, whatever it is, it's sure to be a lot worse by the time he's finished. He's just, he said to bring Simon over after school so he could have a bit of a heart to heart with him. Well, oh, sorry, love, it'll have to be another time. How are you, anyway? How was school? OK. He's been in a bit of a funny mood. I think he's at adolescence a year or two early. Oh. Well, I think I know what might help. A biscuit, yeah? Yes, please. Come on, then. So, are we going to be seeing a lot more of this new branch of the family, then? Oh, we will, if Ken's got anything to do with it. The question is, how much will they want to see of him? OK, you don't agree. But that doesn't mean you can't stay in touch. It means we might not want to. If I'd been like you, you wouldn't even exist. The point being? That it's not natural. Look, if everybody was gay, there wouldn't even be a human race, would there? And so nobody would be gay. Do you understand this? I understand your father has very strong views. Which you obviously don't share. I can't say I do, to be honest. You, Ken, are a true sister. See you around. Well, I hope so, yeah. So that's what you came over for, is it? To tell my son that his father's a bigoted old fool? Oh, I hope I said no such thing. Well, you came close. You've got to allow him to be himself. No, I haven't. Not if being himself means not having a normal life. 
He's mixing with all kinds of degenerates and weirdos. Oh, please, you can't just categorize people. Look, you came here because you want to change me, right? The way I think. Whereas I want to change him the way he thinks. I mean, what's the difference? Hello, oh, you haven't heard anything? No, not a word. Nothing in the post and the phone hasn't rung. Why, why is she doing this to us? No, I put posters everywhere I can think of, so you never know. Oh, there is something I do have to tell you, though. Tyrone and Molly have asked us to be godparents to their baby. Who, by the way, is going to be called Jack? Jack? No, it's not a name I would have chosen, but... And you said Tyrone and Molly asked. Both of them. Well, it was Tyrone, actually, but Molly seemed happy enough. Of course I said we would. To be honest, I would have been annoyed if they'd asked anybody else. So if you'd like to come this way, now, uh, if I, um, if I could just ask you to be patient just for another ten minutes. Mrs. Jordan, and, well, you... if, if you wouldn't mind just taking a seat. I know, but we've been patient all, all day. I mean, we were meant to be collecting in this morning. I know, I know, and I promise we, uh, we won't keep you for long. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll just take a seat, shall we? Thank you. Just ten minutes, and we'll be bringing Laddie home soon. Wouldn't that be nice? I think there's something funny about all this. Like what? Yeah. Well, there's something going on they don't want us to know about. Debbie's scaring me. <sighs> I'm scaring myself. Well, looking for positives, I'd say that she's not intimidated when dealing with the general public. She's got a gob on her, yeah. Although, uh, of course, there was someone we had working here about whom we might have said the same. Hey, look, look, I'm, I'm finished with that. I think you are. I didn't I'm know. I'm now, anyway. Oh. I said, I haven't finished with that. You've been sat there half an hour? Oh, so there's a time limit on how long a customer can remain now, is there? There is, yeah. So go on then, what you've been saying about me. I was saying how impressed I'd be. Honest. He was, yeah. And I hope you'll be with us for some time to come. Roy, I owe you a big, big favour, ma'am. No, no. And so does she, but she never admit it, so. Until we can be certain how your son came to be injured, the law says we have to assume responsibility for him. Meaning, uh, what? Meaning we can't allow you to take him home. Hmm. No, we are taking him home. Now, you listen to me. I am taking my son home and nobody but nobody is going to stop me. If we could all just stay calm, please. Not only that, we also have to assume responsibility for your daughter. What? Asha as well. Unless there's some relative they can both be placed with. Well, if you give me some time, I can talk. It has to be today. No, I, c I can't do uh, it. Come on, uh, uh, tell me this is some kind of a joke, because tell me this is not happening. I'm afraid it is, sir, and you will make things a lot easier if you cooperate. It's easier? You want me to make things easier for you to take my children off me? Easier on them. We hope it'll only be for a short time. You don't know how... And we don't want to make it upsetting for them. Which it will be if they see you're upset. No. You are not doing this. Look, I'm afraid we've no choice. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan, this is your hospital. Are you just going to let this happen? I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It, it is routine procedure. What are you talking procedure? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear that word again for as long as I live. And if you can't find out how he was injured, what then? Well, don't worry. Because this is not happening. We'll do a risk assessment and then hopefully they'll be able to return to you. No, well, they won't, you see, because you're not taking them because they are coming home for me now. No, they're not. You see, um... So if you can't nominate a friend or family member, we have a very nice foster family. Yeah, they've got their own family, thank you. Now, do you want to explain this to your children or shall I? No, nobody is explaining anything. Well, yes, they are, Mr. Allahan. The choice is yours. If you want to cooperate, I'll let you talk to your children. And I'd much rather you did. But that's only if you're going to cooperate. Well, you want us to cooperate in giving you our children? Yes, we will. No, honey. It'll no. It will be better for them. A lot better. Yes. 
Don't tell me you've come because you just had to have a look at him. It's tired on him. Walking Jack and Connie to the bus stop. I decided I wasn't going to have anything to do with him. I decided you wouldn't as well. I wasn't going to call, I wasn't going to talk about him, nothing. Which I think is best. Yeah, it's not that simple though, is it? With everyone expecting me to be interested, expecting me to be calling round. And now you and Ty has asked us to be godparents. Well, Tyrone did, yeah. And what am I supposed to say about that? You're supposed to say no. Think of an excuse. Like what? I don't know. Tell you what's bugging me. I'm the villain in all this. I'm the one who's done wrong. I'm the one that should be kept away. Or better still, just disappear. That's what you'd really like to happen to me, innit? Just disappear off the face of the earth. This'll be Tyrone. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not disappearing for anyone. All right, Kev. <laughs> Come to see our baby Jack. Yeah, he's, he's looking good. <laughs> uh, no, the main thing was uh, about me and Sally being godparents. Oh, yeah. Are you OK with that? Because there is nobody we'd rather have. You used to was way top of the list. Oh, thanks. So? Just, we'd love to. It'd be an honour. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well... I'll leave you to it. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know. Well, I'm glad you have. You're looking for a masked man. May answer to the name of Zorro. So, we're looking for a homicidal maniac wielding a sword in the public place. What a nightmare. Next tonight, Law and Order UK.